Hey guys, do you want to be able to control your TV with Alexa like this? Alexa, turn on the TV. Okay. Alexa, turn off the TV. Stay tuned to find out how. What's up guys, it's Drew from Taylor Tech. Today I'm going to be showing you how to control your TV and entertainment center with your Alexa enabled device. Whether that be an Echo, an Echo Dot, or any of those other Alexa enabled devices out there. The secret sauce here is this guy, the Logitech Harmony Hub. This thing is a giant IR blaster. The same as what's on the end of a standard remote control. The difference here is that it can store up to eight different devices and run activities grouping these devices together. It can turn on devices in a specific order and change the inputs and channels as needed for that specific activity. For most modern devices, it's as simple as searching within the Harmony app by its make and model to find the specific device you're looking for. Once all your devices are added, it's as simple as grouping them together and you could have them turn on the TV, turn on the sound bar, turn on your TV lights, turn on your DVD player, uh, set the inputs for each of those different items. Whatever you want to do that your regular remote control can do, you can do that through the Harmony Hub. Alexa, turn on Netflix. Okay. Alexa, turn on the Xbox. Once you have your Harmony account set up and your activity set up and working with the Harmony app, you'll need to set it up with your Alexa account. Navigate to the Skills section in the Alexa app and search for Harmony. We'll start with the blue one that pops up and it says Optimize for Smart Home. This one allows you to run your activities without having to add the word Harmony as an invocation word. If you're not familiar with that, for example, you can just say Alexa turn on the TV to run your watch TV activity as opposed to saying Alexa tell Harmony to turn on the TV. Click enable and it will redirect you to sign into your Logitech account that you signed up with your Harmony app. Once you're logged in you'll be able to choose friendly names or words to add to your activities. This part is cool because you can add things like the TV or TV or movie instead of say, having to say the exact term as the actual activity. Click next and then you can add some favorite channel names also. It's the same idea instead of having to give the exact channel definition you can put your own friendly name in there. And once you're done with that you'll need to discover devices under the smart app section. It should automatically take you there but if not it's under smart home and discover devices. Alright after that's done go ahead and go back to the other harmony skill and enable that one. You'll need to sign in just like before and pick the same friendly words and continue. Now this other red Harmony skill is essentially the same thing with a few added benefits. It allows you to actually play, pause, turn the volume up, turn the volume down and things like that. There's more detail within the actual app. The only downside to it is that you have to say Alexa tell Harmony to play, Alexa tell Harmony to pause, and so on. I'm not sure if you have to discover devices after this step, but I would recommend going into the Smart Home section and discovering the, the devices again just to be sure. If you're wondering about those TV LEDs back there, they're just um, regular LED strip lights that's controlled by one of these. Uh, this actually has an IR blaster on it, just like the Harmony Hub, so you can actually control the lights with the hub. Unfortunately, I couldn't find in the make and model for this strip light, so you can actually program different devices with the remote. So you just point the remote right at the Harmony Hub when it's in discovery mode, and each button can be programmed. I found it kind of tedious to do all these colors, so I just have it on a cycle of colors and just program the on and off button, and it works fine. You could go in and program all these buttons and have them turn on different colors with different channels or inputs or whatever you like to do. 
Other than that, that's it for this one, guys. I hope you learned something new today. Make sure you subscribe, check out some other videos. See you guys in the next one.